Cancer, hi and welcome to your reading. How does this person feel about you? This is a timeless and a general love tarot reading meant for everyone. Singles that have someone particular in mind and for people in a relationship. Um, as usual, in this reading we are going to ask questions. Um, how does this person feel about you? The one that you have in mind? What are this person's intentions and next steps in this situation? So feelings, intentions and next steps. Um, Cancer, welcome to Coral Tree Tarot. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you are well wherever you are in this beautiful world. And let's begin. How does this person feel about cancer? How does this person feel about cancer? How does this person feel about cancer? How does this person feel? How does this person feel about cancer? How do they feel? Yeah. Oh no, this one. Okay. Queen of Swords, Lovers, Ace of Wands, and Two of Swords. So it feels like, you know, this person is quite clear that there is something brewing here, something serious with the lovers and Ace of Wands. They, are, they have clarity. With the Queen of Swords, this person has a clarity that um, this is a very beautiful, passionate energy between two people, a new beginning. Um, and the two of swords, two of swords, just a completely different energy here. So either someone wants to clearly say that this is how they feel, this is how they see the situation and the other one is not completely aware of that or is there another option? I need to check the two of swords. Someone's not seeing that there is something absolutely gorgeous happening here. And you know, with the Queen of Swords, I am really getting clarity. Clarity above all. So the Two of Swords is like completely opposite energy because it's 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 not wanting to see something for what it is. So someone is very clear about the feelings for you, Cancer. Um, absolutely certain, and they are probably very, you know, in terms of communication as well. Um, I think they're quite straightforward saying that, you know, I'm very attracted to him, really feel strongly connected already, even if it's new. What is the two of swords here? Please show me more. I want to know. The temperance. Um, I'm getting that, you know, the temperance usually talks about patience, talks about divine timing. Um, perhaps 
this person's not really realizing that the time has finally come. The time is finally here to bring two energies together. They're completely unaware that, you know, the time has arrived for two souls to meet. Um, so, I'm not too worried about it. Perhaps this person isn't very, you know, I don't want to say spiritual, but they they are not recognizing that that's the right time. There's, there's nothing else to, you know, that they should be waiting for. This is a time. I see that this person has total clarity. They love you. Um, and they feel very, very passionate about this. I'm also getting with the Queen of Swords that this person is making it clear, is making it vocal, is making it known to you. Or will shortly. Cancer. We'll be dealing with Gemini or Sagittarius. Maybe their sign Aquarius. Or Libra. Let's see what are this person's intentions, um, Cancer. Um, we've got the lovers here, so it's quite clear that they feel already quite deeply and involved. The Emperor, they want to, you know, be in uh, control of the situation. There is three of swords so here too. And three of ones with the judgment. So two major can as well. There is some sort of pain with the three of swords, interestingly. Well, I'm going to start with the emperor. I do believe that this represents someone who wants, you know, step in a position to be in a control of the situation. To be able to progress it, to be able to, um, I feel with this one as well that this person wants to formalize it because of that um, little detail here. I'm getting strongly that they want to formalize it, and you know the emperor, emperor kind of, especially this one. It's got all this. Mm. additional sort of hmm. I do feel that they want to uh, formalize it I, I really believe this person with the Hierophant is intending to bring this situation to stability, bring stability, because that's four as well. But there is this, this three of swords and it's kind of sitting between the emperor and the judgment. So there is something that this person is feeling. There is some pain that will come and this person is kind of like expecting it. Perhaps the Three of Wands, it's anticipation, is waiting for the ships to come. So it's waiting for something. I mean, here this person's been unaware that this is the right time. You know, you have just met your soulmate. Well, now there's no time to wait, procrastinate. Enjoy it. Yeah, it's 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 feel it, leave it. I will clarify the three of swords, but I'm getting that this is something that's connected to, you know, both bringing it stability with the emperor to this situation, making it formal might be difficult. So perhaps someone is attached still here. That's why we have the Three of Swords next to it. And also because of the judgment, I would say that there is very 
There is a high message. I highly like the trumpet is drawing my attention. And the birds. You know, there's someone really feels that it's the right time to to once again involved in a connection, get involved in a connection. On a level that, you know, this person knows that they would want to formalize it already, even if it's new. There is a lot of clarity and confidence about this person and this person's future decisions regarding this connection. A lot of clarity and confidence I'm getting. I wonder what is this, the, the Three of Swords? I wonder what is that? Please show me one. No, just one. One clear message. Not two. One. One clear message. Why is the Three of Swords? Money. King of Pentacles. Stability. Money. Um, I'm also getting inheritance since there's a lot of a lot of this gold coins. Um, I am getting that there is there is a chance that one of you is is maybe uh, cutting someone else in their life, and there is a divorce, and there is settling of you know um, assets and. There is also a chance that, despite the fact that this is an emperor, this emperor doesn't have much. This emperor wants to formalize it. I'm really drawn to that paper um, that the, the figure is holding. Perhaps that there is finances that are somehow going to contribute to to stress and therefore pain that this person is foreseeing. But you know the judgment here they, they they are making a they will make a big decision i feel um the three of wands here i feel because it is a big decision and it's a major arcana this person is you know the intention is definitely to bring stability to make the situation so that there is stability and and therefore space to grow in this love connection finances may be an issue or there may be someone who's you know currently divorcing and dividing assets um but i am getting that you know this person is feeling like in their gut that, that there is time, there is a right time now, you see, because they are not realizing that, that that's the divine timing in here with the Two of Swords clarified by the Temperance. They already know that they'll have to make that decision, left or right, marry, not marry, moving in together, not moving in together. For some reason, the Three of Wands is, is obviously waiting for the ships to come. Perhaps this person's gonna just wait a little while for this situation to evolve, for you to show up and meet them halfway somehow, so that it is easier for the Emperor, for this person that wants to step in and bring the situation to a uh, uh, place where this love could grow to a stable sort of like solid ground they know that they'll have to make some important decisions and it might be related to finances or <laughs> severing ties with someone else so I feel cancer that you've got someone serious someone who's got clarity that you know they they have met someone to me this person has full clarity <clears throat> about this love connection and where they want this to go this is clarity what they feel and and how they feel about you two together and this is them 
wanting to bring this love connection that they are very sure about, very clear about, into a stable situation that could grow. There is going to be, there will be some hiccups. The Three of Swords is here for a reason. King of Pentacles tells me money, finances, perhaps division of assets if someone is divorcing. That may bring a heartache. But other than that, um, look, you've got someone who's very sure where they want this to go. They, they want to build a stable relationship. Formal. I am getting, with the Emperor, I'm getting just, you know, formal relationship, which is, you know, marriage. But if this is not possible, then I think marriage, marriage certificate, but formal I'm getting with the paper here. Cancer, let's see. What are this person's next steps? Okay. Well, we've got four of swords. They may take a little time to to think about it, to, to um, absorb the situation. The, the love heart in, in here, in this nest, is clearly telling me that um, this love connection with you, um, so passionate, so new, and so, you know, exciting you know this wand is exciting it's passionate it, it's so big and the judgment they know they have to make big decisions the decisions that they'll be making in life now are going to be affecting people around they're big decisions um so we just need a little pause We have Six of Swords. So there is something that this person wants to leave behind. This one. Two of Wands and the Tower. There is a definitely some sort of destruction of old structure, perhaps old marriage or relationship. I am getting that strongly that that this person has, may still have had someone touched and that's why he had the three of swords. Look, a little break to basically inhale this because this is humongous to meet your soulmate. Um, with the Emperor I am getting someone 45 plus. Now, the Six of Swords clearly, clearly moving away from something, excuse me. So this person might be literally moving. The Two of Wands here. Making a decision. There, there is something that this person, they know they'll have to be making decisions. I'm coming back to this lovers continuously. This is not a light energy. This, this person feels that deep bond with you. So someone can be moving, um, literally moving, houses moving out, um, the tower. I am getting that this is something that's coming to kind of um, help to wake this person up uh, from the two of swords that, you know, Open your eyes. They they are aware and clear, but I think they question the timing because we've got the temperance clarifying the two of swords. So that's why I'm saying open your eyes. I feel the tower is coming to basically make this person aware. Now is the time. Your time. Your time for love. You've just met someone that loves you equally. Um, and... So this is what I feel the tower is and sort of out there is there is the moon there's some sort of secret so 
someone is really bored and sad. They may be wealthy, but they are pretty bored and sad. Um, they didn't really disclose it. There's the moon, ten of pentacles and four of cups. Someone feels like so. So I am getting that perhaps your person is still in some kind of connection. If it isn't, you know, this, this, they are getting the energies that, that. This person is growing to uh, make changes that are necessary in, in their life for you to be able to enjoy this love connection. Um, and that's why the tower, you know, this person was was done in, in wherever they were at. The moon was basically telling us that they didn't really reveal this. But now they're growing to make changes. And this is it. Moving living stuff that they no longer need so yeah they might be busy okay um cancer let's move to the oracle portion of the reading and see if we can get anything more anything more clear i want to fight for this love okay um there is three of swords here. There is something that's holding one part back. And therefore there is this energy that feels like someone needs to fight for it. For cancer. Ooh. Controlling emotion. So someone is feeling as if they had to hold back. Um... Perhaps your person is moving away from someone who was controlling emotions. Um, the Queen of Swords kind of feels like, you know, this, this sword energy. This person does come across as someone who's like really analytical. They are very clear about how they feel about you. And who you are to them with these lovers but there is this sense of perhaps over intellectualizing this rather than using the heart to actually feel it that's why the, there is something about perhaps this person isn't you know the emperor doesn't seem very romantic be it man or a woman, it's someone very stable, someone who wants formalities to formalize it, someone who, you know, who's not going to ghost, that's another thing, this is not a ghost, or this is not a person that's going to disappear, it's not a person that's going to talk to other people, no, this is a solid energy, very much so, but, you know, controlling emotions, perhaps this person isn't using too much of the heart chakra we have here oh look what's here the magician beautiful you know this is intuition taking chances to me this is i love the stars it's like here it is you know you 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 are aware that you've met someone very very special then make make your life like Create those stars. Live this love. Use your heart chakra, not just your crown chakra. Not just your intellect. Feel it. Create. Because now you have it. And and the time is right. We know that with the temperance. Come here before I burn myself. We know this is the right time. The temperance was a... Was a um, clarifying card for the Two of Swords. This person is not aware that this is their time. The angel is coming and is mixing two beautiful, um, very different energies to create new. Create. Now you're given the lovers, you're given soulmates, so create. Make decisions. Enjoy. Live with 
you know, through your heart, not just head. Descend. Eight house. This one. Saturn. Oh, some lessons coming. The sun expression. Look, I'm getting that, you know, things will be coming to light. Things will be um, clear. But it, this is also, this is also Leo. Um, masculine. This is a very, this is, this is what I'm getting. This person they know what they want. They know that you know the 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 lover's energy makes them feel that alive again. The sun is an energy without which we could not exist. So Bringing things to light and also um, the ego somehow, because the emperor is a little bit on the stubborn side, which may have something to do with emotions. And I feel the sun's energy also will, you know. The heat will, the heat, the heat of this connection, the heat of the passion is going to help melt the intellect. Okay? Eight house. Um, okay, in, in astrology, eight house, natal chart, um, this house is full on. It's um, ruled by Pluto. It deals with taxes, other people, people's money. Um, death and rebirth. That's why the oracle is called transformation. There is some big changes that are attached to this situation. And I do feel that it's got a lot to do with the fact that we've got judgment as well. Um, I feel someone's, I feel this person's heart is, is being filled with passion. And, and I, I'm getting that, you know, this person is getting in touch with their feelings so that yeah, this love relationship that we have here on table, you know, you can experience it on each and every level. The last oracle is Saturn. It's, um, this is a planet that brings a lot of structure and this is this emperor. Discipline, structure, responsibility, Capricorn. You could be dealing with Capricorn as well. To me, it says this person is not going to disappear. This person is responsible. This person is, brings structure. One structure. I told you from the beginning, this person wants formal relationship, intends to um, build stability, and you know, they are intending to. To bring this connection to the position where you could basically, you know, marry each other. If not, if that's not possible because someone is married and religion comes into it, um, then have a, a, um, a different kind of um, formalities that would sort of solidify that this this connection. I am getting that this person is very keen on that. The structure, the discipline, this um, cancer. We had a lot here. We had Aries, Scorpio, Leo, Gemini, um, Pisces, Sagittarius, if I didn't call all the signs. Um, thank you for staying and thank you for your energy cancer if you enjoy this video please don't forget to like and subscribe if this star resonates leave um, comment in a comment section below I'm sending all love and light
I wish you all the very best and I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye for now.